Okay, let's take a look at creating a floating layout inside Dreamweaver using Dreamweaver, so no hand coding. We have both seen how terrible I am at typing, <laughs> so we're going to get Dreamweaver to do the, the heavy lifting here, I think. Okay, and I'm going to keep this kind of short and sweet and kind of zip through this. This is really nothing new that you haven't seen yet. This is just redoing something that we've already done in this DVD, but now in Dreamweaver instead. And I was trying to figure out, should I show everybody how to create a flexible layout in Dreamweaver or a fixed layout? And I think I'm going to go with the combo layout because that way you get kind of a little bit of flexible and a little bit of fixed. It's all kind of in one layout. So that's what we're going to do here. So don't forget, this is the layout that has the fixed nav bar on the left-hand side and a flexible main column for the main content. We have the header across the top, the footer across the bottom. Okay, so if you're following along, fire up Dreamweaver, create a brand new blank page. I've already saved my guy onto the desktop, and I also have him open inside a browser as well. So I'm kind of ready to go here, and I'm using Dreamweaver CS5, by the way, to pull this off. So here's uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that I'm in full-on design view just for the moment here. I'm going to head up to the Insert menu, and then down to Layout Objects, and then over to Div Tag. And inside the Insert Div Tag dialog box, I'm going to go and create a new CSS rule. And I want to create an ID from my drop-down menu at the top there. This is going to be our master, if you'll recall. So I'm just going to call this guy master. That's great. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. And then inside the CSS rule definition dialog box for the ID known as master, I'm not going to bother setting any properties just yet. I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. Uh, no big deal there. And then I'm going to click on OK again. And there's my my master ID sitting there on my page. I'm going to get rid of this, this dummy text that Dreamweaver likes to put in there. And hopefully this, this kind of goes without saying, but over inside the CSS styles panel, of course, all of my new CSS rules are going to get added, right? And I'm, again, just working with an internal style sheet to keep this nice and simple. But next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my cursor is clicked inside the master. And then I'm going to head back to the insert menu, back down to layout objects, and back over to div tag. I'm going to go and create a new CSS rule. And this guy, again, is going to be an ID. And this guy is going to be number sign header. OK, very lovely. Go ahead and click on OK. And again, no properties just yet. OK, and then OK again. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to flip into Dreamweaver's split view, because I have to see my code for this. And this looks pretty much the same as what you and I had been working on back in text edit when we were creating everything from scratch. But now what I want to do is I want to drop my cursor inside the master div, but outside the header div, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to put my cursor on the outside of the header div, if that makes sense. Okay, hopefully all good. Now we need to insert three more divs inside our master div. We need our menu, we need our content, and we need our footer div. So you know what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to speed it up here just by doing some copying and pasting. It's all the same process over and over and over again. So just give me a second here. I'll paste these guys in. We have menu, we have content, and we have footer, don't we? Okay. Don't forget, if you want, we have this dummy text here. You can change that text in there, too, if you want. So we can tell inside our layout what's what. Content and footer. OK. Now, don't forget that we need corresponding ID selectors inside our internal style sheet as well. So we need a menu. We need a content, and we need a footer. No properties yet. Perfect. OK, let's go and set some properties now. I'm going to head back to Design View here. You may want to save your page at this point. Let's go and set properties for our master. So over inside the CSS Styles panel, look for your master. Go ahead and double click on him. Double click on him. There we go. And that'll bring you into your CSS Rule Definition dialog box. OK. 
I'm going to head down to the box category and I'm going to set this guy's width to 90%, exactly what you and I did earlier by hand. Again, you can set that to whatever you want, 80%, 70%, whatever you like. And then let's see here, we want to center this layout too, right? So what I'm going to do is underneath the margin area here inside the box category, I'm going to uncheck seam for all. And let's see, I'm going to set the top to 10 pixels and the bottom also to 10 pixels and the right I'm going to set to auto and the left I'm going to set to auto. So that's how we center our layout and that's how we do it here inside Dreamweaver, right? So hopefully all good there. And I'm also going to go and throw a border on as well. So head down to the border category there. And let's see here. Make sure same for all is checked right across the top there. And I'm going to go with the solid one pixel black standard issue border. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Go ahead and click on OK. There it is. We get a bit of an update there. If you want, you can save your page and flip over to your browser and check out your layout at this point. Not too terribly exciting at this point, but we are getting there. Okay. We basically just need to set properties for all of our remaining ID selectors. So I'm going to go and grab the header ID selector out of the CSS styles panel, double click on him. And I'm going to head into the box category into the padding area. And remember I was using M's way back when, well, I'm going to use M's here again. I'm basically building the exact same layout here. And let's see, I'm also going to throw on a background color, maybe something like that. There's our CCC. And let's throw, we need to throw a border bottom onto this guy. So over to border, uncheck same for all right across the top there. And it's the bottom that we need there. Solid one pixel standard issue black. Okay, cool. Click on okay. All right, there's our, our header happening there. Now for the menu, is this making sense? I, I, hopefully it is. It's just kind of repetitive, isn't it? It's it's pretty straightforward stuff. Now here's something that you'll definitely want to know how to do in Dreamweaver, how to apply a float. And the float option is found underneath the box category, way over on the right hand side. So my menu, my navigation menu, I want to float onto the left. There's clear, by the way, if you're interested, left, right, both or none. Uh, just so you know where that is um, for future reference. This nav menu's width is going to be 160 pixels. I'm going to set zero for the margin and a padding of 1M. Very lovely. Excellent. Click on OK. There we go. That's our, our menu in there, kind of, sort of. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is I'll just show you what we have here. There we go. We, we had this um, effect happening earlier. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is I've got my, my dummy text, my lorium ipsum kicking here. So I'm just going to go and drop this text into my content div Ugh, right there. And this is what you and I saw way back when, something like this. And again, the menu is floating over to the left. So the content and everything below it, including the footer, wants to wrap around it, right? Because of that, that float property that, that you and I had set. Okay, so let's go after our page content now. Go ahead and find his ID selector there inside the CSS Styles panel. Give him a double click. Sometimes uh, you got to double click him a couple of times. All right, into the box category, margin area. We want margin left. You remember this, right? We had to crank up that margin left value. So 200 pixels. We had to crank up that margin left value to a greater value than the width of the menu, if, um, if you remember. Padding. 1M down to border, and we want a border left. So a uh, vertical rule between the content and the menu. So I'm going to go with the same old, same old here, solid one and black, and that should do it. There we are. Okay, looking good. All right, let's do the footer. You can save and refresh if you want. Check out your browser if you want. I just want to get the footer done here, so I'm going to head down and um, finish off the footer here with you. So let's see, down into the box category. This guy, we want to clear both. And we want no margin on this fella. And we want padding of 0.5 M's or M. And I guess if you want to throw on a background color, you are welcome to do so. There we go. 
and we want a border across the, the top of this fella. So let's done check same for all here and go solid one black. Okay, great. There, something like that. Save it up, head back to the browser, refresh. There we go. So what we have here is essentially what you and I had built by hand. Oh, I don't know. Seems like a few hours ago anyway. <laughs> but uh, that's, the, uh, that's the deal there. That's how that works. So that's how Dreamweaver is going to handle your, your floats and, and your clears and all that, that great stuff. Hopefully all of that makes sense there. And notice, by the way, I just want to point this out. That inside the, the box category, don't forget, this is where you're going to find the float and the clear. And, of course, your margins and your, your padding there as well. But remember, in if you saw 10-ton Dreamweaver, we were working with positioning. We were using these positioning values, absolute and fixed and so on. So what's fabulous about working with floats, and to me what's so awesome about working with floats, is it's a much easier way to work. There's no positioning at all. None of that stuff. It really all happens just with floats and maybe a little bit of clearing and some margin on the outside of our layout objects and possibly a little bit of padding on the inside there as well. So anyway, there you go, working with Dreamweaver to create your floating layouts.